Today, I hired two professional Brawl Stars casters to commentate my Power League games. And he's gonna go for the tag. Nice gadget there as well. Their entire job is to watch and analyze Brawl Stars at its highest skill level. So I thought it'd be fun if I brought them down to watch the mid-levels of Power League. Things are probably gonna get interesting. Nash making stuff at these parts. There's no player pool in this region, Kenny, you know? <laughs> Call themselves the most competitive region and then there's no one playing the game. And we're back. Double swoosh is going to be our new first map 12 seconds on the clock a lot of different options here we're gonna see connor immediately lock in the bow all right i'm kind of bored uh, like dude i'm uh, should i just do something weird to like throw them off watch this i think that could be a very good choice too yeah i wonder what is going for his mind definitely a tense situation no doubt and going with the pam i mean i'm all for it kenny you know pam is a safe pair of hands and i mean stonks pam is kind of the thing right now i gotta respect it i think this composition works fine you know my expectations in power league aren't nearly as high as they would be at a professional level now hopping into game at number one here it's gonna be the blue side with connor and they're gonna be looking to pop off here on the pam already connor's doing a pretty decent job so far the crow is well aware of where he is and actually now there's taps oh and the beast thing as well connor gets taken out immediately kind of what we expected here kenny i'm getting dipped by a crow in lane i'm dead i'm dead what is even going on yeah i mean it's a warm-up game for him nothing less than we'd expect first one of the day and things are going south for connor's team and they're throwing a very desperate penny turret yeah, if you listen closely ken i can just hear all the stocks crashing right now as connor <laughs> for the second time crashes to the floor why is your mortar all the way back here let's see whether he can start to regain this lane and Give him and his teammates something to... Oh, wow. As I say it. Come on, Connor. You gotta be doing better than this. I am hurting for Connor right now. A good penny turret. Kind of a lucky shot right there on the crow. And we saw the heart come up from Connor as well. He is still spirits high. It is only game at number one. Plenty of brawl left to be played. Come on. This is it. This is it. This is where we come back. Now it looks like things are turning around. Connor's team are the ones with mid control. Penny you know, turret right bang in the mid there. I don't necessarily mind it. Gems are down too. Flying hook coming in to try to aggress the situation. They are going to pick them up in the meantime, but nine in the pocket now for the penny as Connor goes right on the aggressive here. Look at Connor go picking up one kill. Carl going to be falling weak as well. Oh, I'm actually popping off. They got to be saying good things to me, right? Not a problem for our man Connor right now as Edward's going to pick up now an 11th poser, Ooh. picking some up too. But things all of a sudden going south. Connor is going to be tasked with picking these up. He does, and another countdown is going to begin. Not taking any chances on that left hand side. The crow jump coming in, and that should provide the healing station that Connor needs and the power coming in clutch as well. That should be game as long as the body blocking is there, which it is. And Connor is over the moon. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Oh, wait, that's only the first game. Early game is always going to be tough on this power lane. And you can see already just considering a lot of shots for his trouble. Yeah, was it? as we saw in the last game, it was very, very tough to realistically gain that upper hand. But now Connor should win this left hand side lane and that's going to apply pressure over to the mid and the right. What a good swap there for Connor. Ends up taking on that lane right there. Bunch back for themselves. Carl with an aggressive dash and does get the pick up low HP and it's going to continue on out of here. 42 HP and it's actually going to get away for now. 42 HP? Really? We're playing these games like that? Connor now considering to go more to the right hand side lane and help out there and actually now going straight into the mid as well this guy has got every every lane under his control but it's his teammates that are kind of letting him down right now the countdown is against them. yeah this is a tough situation 13 seconds to go penny turret goes on the ground b backing up and good pressure right there as carl's looking to get aggressive here going to take down poser and now it's left to connor to try and clutch up gets the b takedown falls in the final moment though and it's going to be all tied up you can see the frustration in his eyes no help that game oh. i feel like that was less of what could be done there. That was just one of those situations where your randoms are not picking up the slack. I don't think shooting your teammates is going to help that much. Shoot with his left-hand side lane now. Oh, missed shots there. Connor, check your accuracy, mate. That could have been a takedown if I ever saw one. I'm dead. I'm dead. And you just saw Connor erupt, slamming the desk right there. Connor's got to go on the aggressive. He's got to bring in something of a clutch for his team because they just seem like they're not really on the same page. So I was going to use pull on the call, and that's not what you wanted. But everyone low HP, <gasps> and that's the takedown. Reset is there. Run! Go, 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 go. Poser with seven gems. Connor with one. He's going to be looking to play defense. Carl with a nice takedown. Those six gems available. And now Connor's going to have to get desperate. The countdown is still going. Eight seconds. Kill on the right-hand side. All three hunkered down in the mid. It's just Carl who can make the attempt and there's simply not enough time. Connor is going to be taking game number one. That's what I'm talking about, boys! It's about sweat, blood, and tears. <laughs> 
that went into that one. Genuinely, I, I can feel exactly how he felt. How much work did he have to do to get that job done? And today, Stonks Pam got that job done. Well, Kenny, we're going to have to see and hear from the man himself because that game was pretty intense. We're going to get Connor on the line. Connor, are you there, mate? This game is so casually oriented. It's meant for literal <laughs> babies, dude. It was I'm fun sorry, to watch, though. <laughs> it, was, it was a good time. I mean, we had a, we had a good one there. To a beach then, inbound Kenny. Hands getting warmed up. I low-key think we could go squeak. It's pretty good against Penny's barrel. Well, we're going to be suggesting squeak here. It's not a bad idea. Going to be a gene. Going to be choosing to ignore Connor. Oh, personally, Kenny, I'm for one in agreement. I don't know if you guys know that or not, but that's not squeak. Yeah, it's looking like they're trying to switch up too. He's going to actually <laughs> switch onto the griff. I mean, overall, you know, the power levels went up for both of them. All right, let's go. It's the first time I've actually used that feature and had it work out. Okay, slow, steady start. As the more aggressive of the two, definitely being Team Red so far. And Connor will break that right-hand side, but it's going to leave a two versus three, and already the advance is there. And I'm looking for a good play to talk about here from Connor. I'll be honest, Kenny, but I'm <laughs> struggling to find the words or even the place to back it up. Over on the right-hand side, Cloudy is going to get a pull. Ems with some big tags. Now Cloudy going to fall weak. Ace Alex is going to be forced to really, really hold the line. Nicely done there. Interception, Tara, full HP, and it's just Connor left standing as Cloudy returns. They get the stop. Not enough, actually. They walk it in, and you can see it on Connor's face. He is heated. The Ems look literally isn't playing the game. She's AFK. 20 HP, Connor in a tough spot. Super pass forward, a shot through, and it's wide open. And that is going to be a tough one there. Devastating. In game number two here, it's once again going to be Connor tasked with this right-hand side. Piggy bank going down early. That's going to be a difficult situation as Connor is going to fall here. It's going to be left to his two teammates to try and defend here. A good pushback, but Ims has enough space to work with a pickup, a 1 HP Tara, and a goal. There's just no way. There's just no way, man. The defense is going to be a good one, but 30 seconds on the clock really for Connor to bring this one back. It's going to be a tough, tough call. That's a great place to start, though, as Alex picks up the kill on the right-hand side. Good pressure from the M's. I'm so focused, it actually hurts my brain. Connor looking like a real hero right now, and they're going to need a hero's effort if they want to win this one. 12 seconds to go. Cloudy dribbling ball on the left-hand side as Connor is flanking. He's trying to get as many pickups as he can. Low HP kick to the right. That's all he can do with two seconds to go. No ball available and a takedown. That's going to be a loss for Connor's team. He definitely can't be feeling happy about that. And uh... Dude, this game sucks, man. Yeah, that's, that's that's a tough one, I'm not gonna lie. You were a good teammate I had for like swapping. 12 kills. You were a good teammate for swapping. And now we're moving on to our third set. Doesn't seem like he was too happy about the uh the ban there, I think. And I forgot I had to ban someone. <laughs> oh, the casters are probably loving this, dude. Huh? Brock could be kind of good. Oh, Piper for sure. Never mind. <laughs> Piper's still available. We gotta take Piper, right? Also looking at Brock here too. Can't blame him for that. If he wants a wall break, it could be solid, but I think a nice safe Piper pick could go a long ways on this map. Connor is reading up on uh, his strategy here, going in because this is going to be a tough one to be able to battle out. All right, let's get the tapping. Come on. Good work so far. Three consecutive taps. I mean, four if you want to include the one that he sent to his teammate, and that's the fourth one to seal the deal. Thumbs down for Connor. 8-Bit has a lot of HP, too. That could be a very difficult matchup to work with. And this 8-Bit just continuing to march down the middle, and he's going to go for the tag. Nice gadget there as well. A clean pickup, but the max landing the final blows. I was lagging. It doesn't count. Now we got damage boost going down for 8-Bit, and there's probably the extra credits, and I think it got stopped midway through, so... I'm going to break this wall. Just make it open. That way, no one can hide from anyone, and all of our lanes can win. Breaking of the mid. I like that idea. It will it help that right-hand side support. Yeah, Max is doing a great job here. Hasn't gone down until our boy Connor struck him. Nicely played there. 8-bit going down for what feels like a third or fourth time. Max getting tapped up as well. And the slow there did help out considerably, but now the call going to be coming in, and a, a much-needed defense now for Blue Team. Great candidate to do so. That's definitely going to help out with the amount of HP. He has Connor just continuing to tap, and now he's going to be rewarded as well. It's going to be Lola on the right-hand side dishing out damage onto the safe a few more for connor as well even jen on the left getting involved and this is going right and always for our boy connor as he picks up yet another kill typical power league isn't it when as soon as things start to look bleak you gotta start shooting teammates in the spawn <laughs> connor congratulating himself on a much needed deserved victory of that yeah the fact that he's handling that 8-bit so well in game number one but now it's actually just gonna be colt in the mid i actually don't mind this from the other team you know bell can't dish out a lot of damage it kind of makes sense to leave that one alone right hand side. Yeah, the load is struggling, so that does connect beautifully well at just the right time. 8-Bit trying to do whatever he can on the Connor. Nice dodges there. Good connections. 180 HP. Damage amplifier connects. Connor shot hits. That wiggle stick's loose. 
<laughs> Which face part moment there for Connor. This should be surely the chance to tie things up. Yeah, this is going to be good. Damage rains down. Final moments and the Connor pop off pays off. Well played to him and nicely done to cap off the day. <sighs> Easy clappers, boys. <laughs> Easy clappers, bang, I was doing it, boys. I was tapping, dude. Yeah, even with the max, they uh, can, can, uh, yeah, bro, can get in the way of you. Everyone subscribe to you later. <laughs> <laughs>